Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a reaction time game on Scratch. So this is a sample of what we're going to be making. So when the ball turns yellow, we click it. And the personal best keeps updating as low time you get. As you can see, the personal best just updated. So yeah, this will run on a forever loop, and that will be it for the game. Now let's see how we can make it. Of course, you can get rid of the scratch hat again. And first we need a black ball. So a quick tip, if you want the ball to not be uh, like stretched out, then you can press shift while making your circle, and it will be... It will be equal. And I guess we can just duplicate it and change the fill color to yellow. And those are our two sprites. If you want it to be a bit bigger, you can just change the size. So the original size is 100, so I'm going to change it to 135. It seems fine right now. So now let's make the code for the for the ball. I don't know what you'd call it. I guess it's just a button. So when clicked, oops. When clicked, we have a timer variable. So we're not going to use the inbuilt timer because that's always running. Like right now it's been 421 seconds uh, it all it's always running so that's not really ideal for our game so we're gonna use the timer as well but we're gonna display it with our variable so you can set it as large readout so that it looks a bit better and well for the personal best we can just go to the backdrops and write personal best Oh, let me put it in black. It's pretty invisible right now. And that should be fine. And now, well, let me just center this a bit. In fact, we can just put it in the center. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, we make another variable called personal best or just PB for short. Sure. You can get rid of the my variable thing. Not sure why Scratch chose to make it. Because it's not, maybe just for beginners who don't know that variables exist or something. I don't know. But yeah. So in the start we can set PB to 0 and also the timer to 0. And on a forever loop. It keeps turning from black to yellow. So switch costume to costume 1. And wait from a random amount of time. I'll put it to three as three to six. So wait three to six seconds. And then at that time we reset the timer. So we're gonna use the original timer as well. And we reset it and we switch costume to costume two. And now we repeat, so this is where we're, we change the timer variable to follow the time, the, well we, this is where we put our, this variable to follow the actual timer variable, so repeat until, the costume is equal to 1, so when it's yellow, it's gonna keep because the timer never the timer never stops you can't stop it you can only reset it so we're going to do it so the t the variable timer is going to increase as much uh, when it's yellow 
and when it stops being yellow and becomes black the timer the timer variable is going to stop so repeat until costume number is equal to 1 we set timer the timer the timer in scratch and now we do when this sprite is clicked if the costume is equal to 2 so if it's yellow if the costume number is equal to 2 then it sets costume to 1 so it becomes black and yeah that'll be the code for if it's clicked and but the problem is well let's make the pb code though the pb code will be when green flag clicked forever if costume numbers equal to one so if it's black and if the timer is less than pb timer is less than pb then we set pb to timer but the problem with this code well this works but the time but the personal best didn't update well this is because the personal best is always set to zero at first so we can just get rid of this problem by setting the personal uh, best to a very high number but if the player uh, reaches that high number then still the personal best won't work so in the first time the user uh, plays the game the personal best should become the uh, the timer whatsoever so we can just do this by creating another variable called once done we're gonna use it as a true or false variable so at, in the start it's set as false and when it's clicked so if it's uh, if once done it's equal to false so if it's the first time uh, so if once done is equal to false if it's the first time the player is uh, playing the reaction time thing then it's gonna set PB to timer even if PB is is even if PB is more than timer because the PB is gonna set to zero and you can't click the ball in less than zero seconds so that's impossible so yeah we're gonna do this set PB to timer and then we can set once done to true so it's already been once done so now this code will work so now if we play our game as you can see uh, the first time it updates and then let me try to get the time less than this yeah and then it updates so that will be it for this video if you liked it then please of course like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss out on other videos uh, I also make scrap I mean Roblox videos so go check them out if you haven't already I'll see you next time bye